Well, since it's time to work, this is your video on measuring. We're going to use a ruler. It's a cool little uh, hack if you don't have a ruler. The joint from your thumb to the tip of your, your knuckle of your thumb to the tip of your thumb is about an inch. Uh, some of you guys had worksheets with actually little rulers in them. Um, we cut that out. But what we do when we're measuring height, length, and width is first you need to define what that is. Height is the bottom of a box to the top of a box. Length is the distance between one side of the box to the other side of the box. And width is how deep it is, right? So the red is height, the green is length, and the width here I've marked is blue. When you're using your ruler, there's another really important detail. Start at the zero point. That's like the starting point right here. If you measure over here, you're not going to get the right number, but start right at the beginning of your ruler, you'll be able to get a good, an accurate measurement. So if I'm measuring this box, I'm measuring the height, I keep it up and down to remind myself I'm measuring the height. Put my zero at the bottom, and I go all the way to the top. My box is nine and three quarters inches um, high. So that's the height, and I would write that down on my paper. Height, nine and three quarter inches. You're gonna take a picture of that paper when you're done. Uh, length, put the zero at the edge of the box. The length is about seven and a half inches from one side to the other. That's the green on my box, the length. And uh, real quick, is my width gonna be smaller than length or larger than length? How long, is that gonna be smaller or larger measurement? Yeah, you should definitely say smaller, that's right. So, smaller, and that is about, remember putting my ruler at the zero point, ruler at the zero point. <laughs> it's about two inches for that width. So, for the kids at home, measuring a box, a cereal box, a rectangle, three-dimensional object that we will hopefully put into Tinkercad. Anyway, use a ruler, Start at zero, three dimensions to a three-dimensional object, okay? Height, length, and width. Thanks for playing.